Good morning everyone, my name is Ant Meek and I'm going to continue sharing today on the Holy Spirit and the gift that he is to us. We've been looking at this incredible scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 and it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And today I want to continue to speak on the scripture in the Holy Spirit being a spirit of love. You know, when I gave my heart to the Lord as a 14-year-old in a youth group, the Holy Spirit came to dwell in me. And I remember that He began to do a massive work in my life. You know, He's not a cosmic force or a vapor. He's a person. And He came and lived within me. And He began to change me. And I remember one of the key things He began to do in my life was He began to speak His love into my heart. That He loves me and that He thinks about me and He's concerned about me. Romans chapter 5 verses 4 and 5 says this, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out His love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom He has given us. See, the day the Lord came into my heart, God poured out His Spirit and His love into my heart. Holy Spirit came with love into my heart. And I remember God started to do such a powerful work within me. I believed a lie that I was unlovable and that I didn't have value and worth. And I remember as God constantly was pouring in his love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, he began to change that deceptive thinking. He began to change me and make me more into really Christ, Christ's identity in me. Um, So I'm so thankful to the Lord for that. But you see, not only did God's love in the power of the Holy Spirit change me for me, He also changed me for others. You see, when He takes root in our hearts, He makes us fruitful. You know, it's not my fruitfulness, but it's actually His fruitfulness that's already at work in me, that's showing because the Holy Spirit is doing something inside of me. You know, there's nothing inherently good in me. There's no fruitfulness that I can show that is of any worth and value. You know, Christ is my righteousness. Christ is your righteousness if you are a son or daughter of God. So anything good that comes out of me is because of him. Galatians chapter 5 talks about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And it says this, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, Faithfulness, gentleness, goodness, and self-control. You see, fruit on a tree is external. It's visible. It should be seen. And likewise, the fruit of our lives is also to show His love to others. That because the Holy Spirit has poured Himself into our hearts and He begins to bear fruit in my life, people then see that fruit as well. It's not just for me. It's for others too. And that means that God's love for others will work in me as I begin to love others too. For God, there's a scripture said, for God works in us to cause us to will and to act according to his purposes. Holy Spirit being poured into my heart in love, then changes not only me, but also enables me to express that love to other people too. And I pray that the Holy Spirit may pour his love into your heart this morning. And release a new identity that you are loved, that you are the beloved of God in Christ and that he loves you with an everlasting love. And I pray too for you that as you walk in this love that the Lord has given to you in your heart and that you may know it, that you may know his love deep within your heart for you, that that same love will begin to express itself to others. Let's pray for this together. Dear Lord God, I thank you that you have poured out your Holy Spirit, into our hearts with love. And thank you, Lord, that that love changes me. It adjusts me. It makes me into a better person. Thank you that you are loving to me and I choose to receive your love over me today. And also, Lord, thank you that in the Holy Spirit, I can also express the fruit of love, that it could be external and it could be expressed to others. Please, Holy Spirit, help me to love others as you have loved me. For those people, even now as I'm praying, who are difficult and struggles in my life, Lord, I pray for them that you would help me to show them the love that you have for them. Help me to see them through your eyes of love. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, that we can access your love for ourselves and for others any moment of any day because you are in us. We love you so much and thank you for your goodness to us. In Jesus' name, amen.